that should be it for LZ Gamer. I don't think he has anything. He doesn't have the resources to deploy another army. Um, definitely doesn't have the gas to work with. Looks like he's going to load up a desperation drop. Again, trying to focus on those gateways in the backfield. Um, but even if he does manage to get this gateway drop, it's kind of the uh, this is kind of the spite attack afterwards. I think for LZ, he just wants to show that he can do some damage here in the late game and he still has some teeth. Uh, unfortunately, even if he manages to take the gateways out, I think G5 could just simply swing around and attack his main, completely wipe everything out, and he wouldn't be able to really oppose it with all of his troops out of position. So, uh, but anyway, the Overlord's starting to move up. This should be a fun drop right at the end. I think G5 uh, already sees it's coming. Um, might be able to get a Maelstrom before those troops drop. Sorry about the little bit of twitch there. Yeah, that's going to send LZ Gamer back. Um, worried a little bit right there. He's a uh, right there as well. A little bit worried, I think, about getting Maelstrom'd. Oh, G5 has this red. Saw it coming out in the midfield, looks like, with that observer. Um, and uh, going to be easily be able to respond to it. Looks like LZ uh, looked like he was going to commit. Instead, going to throw up another attack here at the 9 o'clock, try to create some distraction uh, and divert the drop to this location. Right now, though, G5 uh, really doesn't even need to save this base. He has so many resources, and he's going to be going headlong uh, into three Reavers, and those Reavers uh, just... They just pummel things all together. It looks like they're dying fairly quickly because of that drop right on top of them. They don't really have the cannons to provide as much defense. Nice plague by LZ. So it looks like LZ is going to be able to get uh, some damage here and show that he does have some teeth here in the late game. But ultimately, uh, these Archons should be able to clean up before even that Nexus is taken out. Unless all those troops just focus on it now. And again, um, LZ can't really afford a focus fire on the Nexus because he needs some troops coming out of this if he's going to really have any hope for a win here. Going to send in more troops uh, up the southern edge, but again, a lot of Archons to greet them, and a lot of Size Storm to, to deal with them out in the field. And now, a much, yeah, the much superior economy of G5 is going to whittle uh, LZ Gamer down. Bit by bit, LZ Gamer almost completely mined out, sending in the last bit of troops that he has uh, up the ramp here, getting Size Storm along the way. I gotta say, uh, G5 has played excellently in his matches against LZ Gamer. He's really caught on my just really predicted everything beautifully. This just played beautifully. Just uh, some beautiful macro all together. Um, and yeah, I, I just got to say he's just played masterfully all together. That's one of the reasons he's, I think, one of the favorites in this tournament to take it. And he's always a favorite, no matter what, no matter what uh, kind of shape he's showing before going to the tournament. When he gets to the tournament level, he's much like Lauder. We just picks his gameplay up. Um, just is able to relax and able to focus, <laughs> consuming an overlord there to get a swarm in. Honestly, a maelstrom would stop this attack. Uh, pretty short as well, and uh, so it looks like it's going to be every last mineral um, at at G5 here. LZ Gamer going to try to hold off as long as possible. Going to send some more Zerglings streaking across the field. Maybe they're going to go for those gateways at the main. Already some High Templar and some Archons in position to to deal with them should they come. And uh, yeah, these Zerglings are not going to last long against these Archons at all. Um, pushing up, and this is not what you want to see if you're a Zergling force uh, running across here. It's like, oh great, yeah, you know, run free directly into a giant fire pit. Uh, might be able to get, actually able to focus fire another gateway down. So uh, very nice on his part, but uh, otherwise not able to accomplish a lot. Still holding here at the 9 o'clock. Not able to get a lot done uh, there either. And let's see what, uh, uh, I'm surprised LZ actually hasn't uh, GG'd yet. He's down to his last 2,000 minerals, it looks like, from the mineral patch here at the 9 o'clock. Uh, meanwhile, G5 has a gigantic bank to work with. Uh, although G5 mostly ma mostly mined out, he could retake this three o'clock. Looks like that single zealot gonna wander across <laughs> that expansion going up. There's no way LZ's gonna be able to hold that. I have to I have to say I really like his tenacity here. Too many archons out in the field though. This looks like it's gonna be a heavy archon zealot army, which LZ has nothing for. Um, there's not really when you're dealing with that many archons, uh, without swarm or ultralisks. You, you really can't stop them. And even then, you need a lot of Swarm and you need a lot of Ultralisks, particularly when they're this highly upgraded. LZ going in for another attack at 9 o'clock. Going to be able to pick off uh, maybe that Robotics facility coming in with an attack from both ends. The, uh, for whatever reason, the Reaver's just kind of asleep there to the north. But uh, some side Storms able to clean up those Zerglings quite nicely. Um, able to Maelstrom that last Ultralisk. And it looks like the rest of this attack force is going to be taken out. Uh, taken out. The Archons moving up in field, and I do believe this is a full control group of Archons, which is a scary, scary thing. Um, even as a Protoss player, that's uh, frightening. Oh man, the Wall of Fire, and I think this is why the Archons actually are the sexiest unit in the entire game. Giant Wall of Fire, they're great. Almost like moving flamethrowers in and of themselves. Uh, Ultralis kind of getting some hits in here in the middle of the retreat, but um, probably not going to last all that much longer. Actually, that, Ar that Dark Archon 
providing a little bit of trouble here as it's running in, going for those counterattacks. Um, LZ Gamer continuing, continually, persistently trying to take out this 9 o'clock location. Really wants this base, uh, but now he's completely out of troops. <laughs> and there, the very long GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.